Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. It is time to brawl and it is also time to talk about 40, that's right, 40 changes coming to the Brawl Stars update happening soon, guys. And I'm gonna be saving the best one for last, so make sure you stick around for that. Hope you guys enjoy. Now before we jump into this, I just wanted to let you guys know that after I do have a couple of days to actually like let things soak in, I'm going to be doing a 100% honest review of the update, so make sure you guys stick around for that later on. With that being said, let's go ahead and start off with the first change, and that is going to be a Daryl remodel. That's right, take a look at that Daryl right there. Uh, not much to him, he's just remodeled. Number two is going to be a Colt remodel. Check those sweet guns out. Oh yeah, let's take a look at that. Sweet, sweet stuff. Then we also got a Rockstar Colt remodel. Sweet. Okay, he's got a lightning on the back. Also, Rockstar Colt is going to be staying at 30 gems. Number three is a Poco remodel. He strums on the guitar a little bit, as you can see there. And uh, we'll take a look at that. They left the hat, guys. They left the hat. They can remodel a brawler without taking the hat away. Now you guys probably guessed number four, and that is going to be Rico getting a new skin rework. And what's this? He's no longer Ricochet, he is now officially Rico. He seems to have been remodeled to look some type of like a, like a bouncy ball machine like the ones you see in those grocery stores. Golden Ricochet is actually being renamed to Loaded Rico and the cost of this skin is going from 30 gems up to 80 gems. So go ahead and buy him before the update hits and you'll actually save gems for a pretty sweet skin. As you can see, he has some gems inside of him. He's wearing a really cool cape and that crown is just beautiful. Number six is Spike's remodel right here. It's uh, He looks pretty similar. Not very much different, just completely redone. But Pinky Spike is now going to be Sakura Spike. The cost for this skin is staying at 80 gems, and as you can see, Pinky Spike now looks like a sweet little Japanese cherry blossom. Change number eight is going to be Bo's voice. We must fight for peace. My aim is true. Ah! Live strong as the mountains. One breath, one shot. Day and night cannot dwell together. May you find peace. I fight for my ancestors. My mind is clear. Number nine is Brock's new voice. Game on. And as you can see, Boombox Brock no longer pulls out sunglasses because he's not wearing sunglasses. Ooh, take the L. Rocket Ray. Ooh, you got destroyed. It's go time. Oh yeah, turning up the boombox. Time to move to the boombox groove. Let's do this. Boombox, baby. It's go time. Woo, let's go. And the voice that you have all been waiting for. Number 10 is Mortis's voice. You have been bested, Mortis. Ringer of doom, ringer of bats. Feel my wrath, have much fear, Mortis is here. I bring you the gift of darkness. Time to rest. Your soul is mine. Fly free, my pretties. Change number 11 is that the maximum amount of tokens that you can actually earn at a time has been doubled from 100 to 200 tokens at a time. Now this isn't actually doubling your rewards. The time that it takes for you to actually refresh the tokens is the same amount. So what that means is that now rather than having to play every 12 hours to maximize your rewards, you only have to play at least once every 12 24 hours. Change number 12 is that you can now search for clubs while you are in a club. Change number 13 is that you can now actually exit a friendly room if you are only playing with bots. There are also several attack animations that have been remodeled and made look a lot cooler. Number 14 is going to be Nita's attack. It sends out an actually really cool looking shockwave. Also, when she spawns her super bear, then it actually spawns like there's a, a footprint, a giant bear print on the floor. And then with her star power, if she actually heals her bear or her bear heals her, then a little green health thing is like connects between the two of them, which looks really cool. Colt's attack animations is change number 15, where they look a lot cleaner bullets now. Jessie's is 16, where now she sends out these cool little shock things that they look really, really cool. Um, number 17 is Brock's attack animation, which also looks a little bit different. You can see those rockets. And on top of that, his star power flame is now clearly outlined, so it's very easy for you to actually avoid it and know where that range is. My guess is that Wizard Barley also has this feature as well, but I can't actually test this out on the dev build because you can only unlock that skin by connecting Supercell ID. Number 18 is Dynamite's attack. They now look a little bit different, a little bit more uh, cleaner. Number 19 is Ricochet's bullet. They look slightly different as well. And Golden Rico actually now 
fires out gems, which they're either blue or red, depending on which team you're on, and they look really slick as well. Poco's attack animation looks super, super cool, which is number 20, along with his super, which really looks clean. Frank also has a shockwave that bursts out similar to Nita's, which is number 21, and 22 is actually Spike's attack and super, which both look really slick. On top of that, Sakura Spike, she also sends out a cool little like cherry blossom petal thing that blows out, and then her uh, super also looks similar to regular spikes. For 23, we have a showdown change where the smoke no longer actually damages immediately once it spawns or when it actually grows. Instead, it actually damages brawlers a little bit after that, so you do have a little bit of time to try and escape the smoke. Number 24 is the two new showdown maps, including Dune Drift and Stormy Plains, which is actually an original showdown map that is being put back into the game. Number 25 is the fact that bounty matches are going to go from two minutes and 30 seconds long to down to two minutes. And number 26 is this new city environment that is coming to some bounty maps as well as some heist maps. I think my favorite part is uh, Barley's saloon uh, thing up at the top. <laughs> Look at that, gifts over there. I love it. Now number 27 might look a little confusing because I've actually jumped off of the developer build onto the old build to show you guys the six bounty maps that are being removed from the game. Stone Fort, Death Cap Trap, Crystal Clearing, Shooting Star, Outlaw Camp, and Canal Grande. Now to counteract that, we've got change number 28 and that is five bounty maps being added into the game including Bullpen, Excel, Layer Cake, and dry season. Change number 29 is the five heist maps that are being removed from the game, including Bandit Stash, GG Corral, Fancy Fencing, Cactus Corridor, and Bone Tunnel. Change number 30 are the four new maps coming into heist. Rolling Rumble, Twist and Shoot, Bridge Too Far, and Corner Case. Change number 31 is the fact that the current three maps that are staying in the game for heist are now having the walls removed that are right in front of the heist safe, like in Kaboom Canyon, Safe Zone, and Forks Out. Change number 32 is the rework to Brawl Ball, where goals are being moved back one tile. Corners are being removed to prevent cornering a ball. Brawlers now spawn in the very back of the goal, and the goal box was actually made one tile deeper to accommodate for this. Additionally, kicking now actually takes up ammo, and you cannot kick the ball if you do not have ammo to shoot it. Change 32 is the fact that Pool Party is now being added into the event rotation for Brawl Ball, and Pinhole Punt was fixed to be completely symmetrical, where before there were a couple of bushes that were not available on one half of the map, which wasn't fair. Change number 34 is the rework to Barley's Super, where as you can see here, Barley will actually no longer be able to stack all five bottles into one spot, dealing insane amounts of damage, and the damage actually will not stack if uh, a brawler is in multiple pools of the, that poison. Number 35 is Frank's super where as you can see as soon as he takes out an enemy brawler he instantly charges up his rage so that increases his damage. Number 36 is Mortis's change to his star power which as you can see works exactly the same as soon as he takes somebody out then he immediately heals up. Number 37 is the change to Bo's star power where as you can see it is a much shorter range than it was before, a range of only four tiles in each direction, which is a 55% nerf to his area control. Change number 38 is the duration of Leon's super. As you can see, it's two seconds shorter, and uh, I still think that it's plenty long. And for change number 39, no matter how much time passes after you take out grass, no matter the color, it will not respawn, so make sure you're taking it out strategically. Now finally guys, change number 40, the biggest change coming into the update, and uh, that is going to be the new brawler, Gene. Now at the time of the recording, I actually cannot show you guys any gameplay, but there is some gameplay over on the Brawl Talk that was recently just released on the official Brawl Stars channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. I really wish that I could show you guys some gameplay of that, but you're just going to have to wait for a future video on that. Now one last note, no new skins are actually going to be released the day of the update. Similar to how they've done it with the past update, they're going to be releasing the skins as time progresses, rather than just releasing all of them on update day. Anyways guys, I hope 
hope you enjoyed this video. Regarding when the update is actually going to happen, I do not have any information that I can give you, but I will give you information as soon as I absolutely can, so make sure you stay tuned for that. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.